The sooner we can leave, the better. Gavella Glan. Disgusting. Lila, get out! 
rats? You could have annihilated them with one spell. Fine, won't say anything. So what happened to you? There's something here. Something that distorts teleportation. I've no idea how they managed to get to the other side problem-free. Wild Hunt's teleportation magic is different. Got specially trained mages for that. Navigators, they call them. They can have three helmsmen and a parrot for all I care. I'll not risk that again. Let's go. Wild Hunt got a good head start on us, but we still stand a chance. Have you gone completely mad? We must leave here at once. I gotta know what the Wild Hunt's doing here. But we came to find the Elven Mage, not fight the Hunt. If they reach him first, we won't get a chance to talk to him. Besides... Go on. Finish. Wait. You've got some special interest in the Hunt. Is this about Siri? There's something you've not told me, isn't there? Come with me and maybe I will. Are you always like this? I'm beginning to feel sorry for Triss and Yen. Oh, very well. Let's go. Gavella Glan. That's him. That's the elf. What was that? An illusion? No. A morphotic projection. A what projection? Something akin to a post box for mages. Much safer than an ordinary letter, which anyone can intercept en route to its recipient. The message was definitely for Ciri, daughter of the Gull, Laura Doran's heir. Indeed. It is what the elves would title Ciri. But what was the bit about the sign of her sword? A riddle? Yeah, not a hard one, though. Not if you know Ciri named her sword Tzideo. Swallow. Come now. Who aside from you would know that? Might have been the point. Your elven mage secured the passage, hid it, so that only Ciri could find it. He failed to foresee that someone like you would show up. Nevertheless, I think he was expecting uninvited guests. Made some preparations. Let's hope the Wild Hunt ran into some obstacles. Well then, let's go. Do you think following the Swallows will suffice? We'll see.
similar to that other pillar with the projection. Sirene, ni for the sol eser in. Sirene, ni for the sol eser in. Hey, Sirene. That's what Siri named her mare. Horse could apparently gallop like a demon. Hmm, good name for a horse. So, should we look for it? Gavella Glan. distorted my effort at teleportation.
could be that. I knew we'd manage. That's so? Make sure and tell me beforehand next time. My intuition's a fine instrument, Roger. Don't underestimate it. I've some very good feelings about you, for instance. In several domains. The sooner we can leave, the better. Teleport over there. We must activate it quickly. There's a feeling another golem's about to surprise us. Look, we've managed to cross the bridge. This is where we saw the wild hunt. Great. Means they're way ahead of us. Come on. Wild hunt. Definitely. They destroyed the major sentries. They did come here for a friendly chat with the elf. Meaning you ever thought they might have? Froze them before they could attack. Shut up!
Kira. What's wrong? Little pass. That took a great deal of power. Just don't faint on me. <laughs> now, in your firm embrace, not in your life. to be able to say we could stay here a while and rest. I know. I know. We must go on. Ah, they blocked the passage. Maybe I can try. Leave it to me.
see it. Not necessarily. Let's look around. If I've my knickers on straight, this looks like the elves' laboratory. This message. Sire, this place is no longer safe. Do not tarry here long. Trust no one. And above all, beware the witches of Crookback Bog. Try to reach the place where last we were together. Where last we were together? Not much to go on. he didn't leave a clearer message. The Wild Hunt broke in here. Surely they saw the projection. They searched everything. And if they had more time, they'd probably have torn the place to the ground. But that doesn't change the fact that we haven't learned anything. Not about the Elf, not about Ciri. Well, we know they were well acquainted and traveling together. Wonder why they split up. Because the Wild Hunt was on the Elf's trail, and Ciri would be safer if they did. The Witches of Crookback Swamp. Crookback Bog. Kira, if you're hiding something... But... I didn't say... You know these witches? I've never met them, but I've read of them. In an old manuscript I found in one of the huts in the village, it mentions the village witches venturing into Crookback Bog at times to liaise between the villagers and the crones, the ladies of the wood. The crones appear to be intolerant of outsiders, but they help the local folk. Apparently, they stop the spread of the plague in Bellum. Hmm. What's your take on this? I'd love to shrug it off as the nattering of so many old women, yet throughout my first fortnight in Bellum, I had horrible nightmares. Something was calling me out into the swamps. One night, I decided to enter the dream consciously, render it lucid. I confronted the thing directly. It broke contact at once. Peaceful nights ever since. How do I find them? The swamps are vast, dangerous, but they say the crones mark the way for peasants who wish to visit them. The manuscript mentions a chapel in Crookback Bog, and from that chapel one must follow a trail of treats. Treats? Of course. They didn't read you bedtime stories at Care Morgan. All normal folk know that witches live in gingerbread houses poised atop chicken legs. I'll have to see that to believe it. Take the tome and read it. I... I truly do believe we'll find you, Cirilla. All right then. As a start, let's look for a way out of here. Good idea. Why do we even come? Well... What's this? The potion I gave him. it as well. I expected we might run into such things, so I bought this. Meaning what? The Eye of Nahalani. It dispels illusions. It's easy enough to build, so you're welcome to this one. 
It's bound to come in handy. And each time it does, you will think of me. Huh. Thanks. leads. Do you feel that? A flow of fresh air from the left must be an exit that way. Good. Let's get out of here. Wait, there's still the magic lamp. The magic what now? Lamp. The elf promised it to me in exchange for my help. And since his return here seems doubtful, I must retrieve it myself. If I can find it, that is. Will you help? Splendid. Come then. Gavella Glan. Certain Certainly hope we haven't lost our way. Looks like another damned riddle to me. sadly. Hmm, sign of the gull. If I didn't already know where she was buried, I'd guess this is Laura Doran's sepulcher. Perhaps it's a monument to her. Can't see the elves commemorating her this way. Heroine of a tragic legend to some, but most see her as a traitor to her race, who got her just desserts for marrying Kragenin of Laud. Perhaps the elven mage is Lara's kin. It would explain why he's helping Ciri. Possible. This what you're looking for? Uh-huh. So what's it supposed to do? Hmm. I hope I'll be able to activate it. Let's leave this place, shall we? something about Siri in the end. Something important. Do you intend to venture into Crookback Bog? You must tell me about it afterwards. Don't know that I'll get the chance. Geralt, there are two types of men. Those who see opportunity and take advantage, and those who forge the opportunities themselves. I've always seen you as an example of the latter. Besides, I've a favor to ask you. So, Visit me sometime? I'll stop by. You can be sure. In that case, I shall be waiting. See ya, Kira.
brother said I'd find her here. Voitex sent you, sir. How else would I know she was here? Wait a moment. I'll fetch her straight away. for me and who might you be my father sent you yeah to see if you're still alive and well I'm Geralt of Rivia I'm quite alive and extraordinarily well Geralt of Rivia better than I've ever been in this rotten life of mine and now that you've seen me I bid you farewell wait we've nothing more to talk about got every right to be angry at your father but he's worried about you I have a right. Thank you kindly. So good to have the approval of his hired thug. And my father worries only about what to get soused on next. He's no saint, that's clear. But he's got the whole province on its feet looking for you. Finding you and your mother? Seems to me there's nothing more important to him now. I know evil men. He's not one of them. Shame he never showed such concern before. Especially for my mother. He made a mistake and knows that. I'm not defending him, just saying that maybe he's come to realize what he's done and what you mean to him. Oh, wonderful. I'll bear that in mind. Did you really come all the way here just to tell me that? Voitek claims your mother had strange marks on her hands and that a monster dragged her into the woods. Is that true? We were riding towards the river. Suddenly, Mum cried out, bent over, almost fell off her horse. I rode up to her and saw something strange. Her hands were on fire. And then that creature leapt from the woods. I don't know what it was, but it roared so fierce my nose bled. I saw it topple trees. I've never been so scared in my life. And that, that thing grabbed my mum and disappeared into the woods. I wanted to turn back, go after them, but the, the horse is panicked. Now I don't even know if she's alive. What will you do now? Find my mum. You realize that might not be that easy. Don't worry, I'm not daft enough to believe I can do it alone. I've got some new friends now. Powerful friends. They'll help me. What about your father? Who? Oh, him. I don't care. I won't go back to him. That bit of my life? Forgotten it already. Who are these friends, if it's not a secret? No secret. Heard of the Church of the Eternal Fire? A priest helped me contact the Redanian witch hunters. Righteous, brave men. They'll help me. Hence the candlesticks in your room. So you believe in the eternal fire. Once the heat of the fire has set your heart aflame, it gives you strength and leads you down the path of truth for the rest of your life. I hope it'll bless you with its warmth one day. Thanks. Thing is, fire's tricky. It's easy to get burned. Well, well. <laughs> a witcher. Never thought the Baron would stoop to hiring a monster slayer. Though I hear you're good at tracking things down. Glad you know who I am. Haven't introduced yourself, though. Graden, witch hunter in the service of His Royal Majesty Radovid of Redania. I'm certain you've heard of us. Rings a bell. If the bloody Baron sent you to fetch his daughter, you'd best face it. You will fail in your task. I appreciate your concern, but I don't need it. As for tomorrow, she can make her own decisions. Hmm. <coughs> Noble of you. A killer for hire abandoning his bounty for the good of another. The Hunters and the Church of the Eternal Fire thank you. So the Baron hired a Witcher to find his daughter. Interesting. Where are you gonna take her? Tamara must rest. She's had a harrowing experience. 
When the warmth of the eternal fire has restored her strength, we shall see about finding her mother. Before you go, your father asked me to give you this. Clara? Father told you to give me Clara. Funny how he thought to buy me back with a memory. Tell him one gesture could never make up for a ruined childhood. So long, Witcher. In spite of all, I'm... Well, I'm grateful you gave me a choice. Didn't force me to go back to the tyrant. Hope you know what you're getting yourself into. So long, and good luck. Cider for you. Listening, what do you come to me with? Gave Tamara your gift. How'd she react? Probably not like you'd have wanted. She threw the doll away. Threw it away? Oh, gods, I hoped, despite all. Oh. Oh. But what of Anna? Still don't know anything specific, but I'm on her trail. Well, will you stand there like a knob? Find her! So long.
went in the kitchen, stole a hunk of meat. Cook gave him a licking, strung him by his feet. Cooked and bled him empty, stripped his skin off clean. Laughed and said, how tasty, best sausage I have seen. Cook's a stupid killer, shouldn't have ate the pup. Now we light a fire, gonna roast him up. One, two, three, the one to fetch the kindlings. Interesting rhyme. Don't know you. Go away. A young woman got lost in the swamp. She has ashen hair and a scar on her face. You kids see anyone like that? Ain't no lassies here. What am I? You're no lassie. Lassies got tits. They do. Heard an old man say once, when the army was here, he says, Hide them lasses in the woods. They's dazzling the soldiers with their tits. And it's torturing the poor lads. That's what he said. Anyone else here besides you? Meaning who? Someone who might have seen the woman. Like the six-eyed tree? Tree slapped all year. But there is Johnny. What's this talk? What kind of jabbering is this, eh? No one allowed here. Just kids. My kids. They're allowed. But who are you? Wearing swords like a bandit. Just talking to the kids. Asked them if they'd seen a young woman. Oh, it was a lovely young woman. Wore a long, beautiful braid my mummy did up for me. Had dresses with flowers on them. Maybe you've seen her. Young, ashen hair. Your betrothed. Daughter, actually. Daughter? My dear, sweet little daughter. And her sister. Where are they now? Maybe they've come to some harm. A bit of help, please. A young, ashen-haired woman. Just need to know if you've seen her. What are you looking at, children? Wash your hands, we'll go catch crickets. Won't learn anything from you. Aye, because I don't know nothing. That Johnny knows. He knows a lot. When I ask him something, he says, Wait, I'll scratch my arse and tell you. Ugly word. What you saying? To the hut. You'll stand in the corner. I'll make sure you do. You. Be gone. Be gone. In here. I just want to talk to the boy. Not allowed. It's not allowed. He won't talk to you anyway. Gran don't like you. And and Johnny's made up. And, and strangers steal kids. Just tell me where I can find Johnny. Johnny's made up. Be gone. Be gone. Johnny. One of you knows about him. The others must too. It's just him who's pals with Johnny. They pick mushrooms and hunt snails. But Gran says Johnny's made up. The girl I mentioned is in danger. You gotta help me get your Gran away from the hut so I can talk to Johnny's friend. All right, but you've got to do something for us too. Play hide and seek. Gran never does. Says her feet hurt. Let's play. You hide, but if I find you, you have to help me talk to the boy who knows Johnny. He thinks he'll find us easy. Means he's never hid from the black ones. No looking, and you have to count out loud. All your fingers, toes, too. One, two, three, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Ready or not, here I come.
see you. Come out. See you. No fair. I'm supposed to win. There you are. everyone found you all you don't play right but we'll help come on let's talk to the others by the cottage found you all now you got to keep your word and help me talk to Johnny's friend why wouldn't we promise didn't we Real, he must 
ghostly prince. Small footprint. Johnny's been through here. lead to a burrow. Wonder what's inside. Johnny? Don't be afraid. for a woman with ashen hair. Seen her? Tell me everything from the start. Where did you see her? What was she doing? It's important to me. Why not? What's wrong? Can't talk? your voice? Can I help you somehow? Want me to follow you? No choice, I guess. Watch out! This the place? Let me look around. Something's on the ledge? Something that'll get you your voice back? Guess I gotta make this climb.
this bottle. Pick Prince Proximo a pack of pickled peppers by the Pontar. <laughs> Done celebrating? My favorite words. Life without savoring the sound of surreptitious shenanigans is like licking snails through a cloth. Thank you for this, noble whoever you are. Long be your life. Hang on a minute. I helped you, now you help me. Would you turn this beautiful act of altruism into a banal bartering of favors? Looking for a young, ashen-haired woman. See anyone like that? Did I ever? Remember it as if it were yesterday. Soon as I woke, I went to empty my bowels. My favorite part of the day. Defecating to the sunrise, downright glorious. Suddenly, heard a bang. So loud, it couldn't have been me. And that lass appeared, out of nowhere. Young, ashen-haired, just like you said. Wounded and panting to boot. She raced off towards the children's huts, quick as if the crones were after her. I yelled some unpleasantries. She disturbed my morn. Sadly, I'd lost my voice, so I don't think she heard me. She ran off toward the orphanage. Kids could know something, or the old woman who takes care of them. Oh, that old hag don't speak to strangers, and you're a stranger. Will she talk to you? I have spoken to her, got my ways. So be it. You helped me and I'm no bore. Come with me. to Gran. somewhere in the process. I shall look for it when I get home. You're not allowed here, Johnny. You shouldn't have come. Calm down, Gran. Don't get angry. It's not good for you. The woman I asked about earlier. 
Forgive me, Gran, but this fellow absolutely must talk to the ladies. No, she's not allowed. Please, it's important. The fellow will be quiet. Gran, please hear me out. I found little Yagna when she got lost, did I not? Did I break Jenny's fever too? I did. I ask anything in return? No. Didn't even fuss about my stolen voice. Well, now I want something. Gran, help this fellow. Because otherwise he'll pester me day and night, even during potty time. His lass is missing. Perhaps the ladies can help find her, eh? Well, since you put it that way, Johnny, I'll help him. Come with me. Johnny's a good, good lad. Though the ladies don't like him. No. Foul creature, they say. Don't like him. Who are the women in the tapestry? Those are the ladies. Ladies lovely, with power o'er all. Beseech I thee, answer my call. Before you a worm crawls, wretched and small. And upon this white-haired one, brother has turned against brother. The land is soaked in blood. Evil reigns stronger than ever before. A dark power has surfaced near Down Warren. It feeds on hatred and disdain. Destroy the beast, and we may be grateful. Tell you all we know about this ashen-haired maid. Witch hunter, not a witcher. The alderman of Down Warren will tell you all. Remember to collect payment from him after you complete your task. And now our servant will bring you the dagger. I'll talk to the alderman, but I can't promise anything. Move, woman! Give the young man the dagger. And you, white one, return only once you've completed the task. Oh, your mistress, right, on me way. Dagger, gotta bring the dagger. The dagger, for you. Lady told me to give it to you. Here it is, the dagger. Place the alderman's payment on the stone. Stone bear, stone shear, stone nose, 